OK, thank you. I'm uh, Sergian Ronchevic and uh, I'm full professor at the University of Novi Sad, Faculty of Sciences, Department of Chemistry, Biochemistry and Environmental Protection. Uh, I, I uh, finished my uh, bachelor study. I graduated in chemistry and uh, I got PhD in also in chemistry, but I work uh, more than 20 years in area of environmental chemistry and environmental protection. Uh, basically, uh, I'm teaching and uh, provide research in the area of uh, environmental protection technologies. But I participate uh, in establishing uh, uh, subjects uh, all, uh, on all uh, three level of study uh, in study of uh, environmental uh, protection on our faculty on bachelor, master, and uh, PhD study. Uh, so I um, um, also established a, a subject about the processes environment and uh, about the management environment and so on. Uh, to, uh, this evening also, um, uh, uh, it, uh, with us uh, is uh, my colleagues uh, Alexandra Tubic, uh, and uh, she uh, will present uh, her uh, later. Um, oh, uh, hi, Alexandra. Uh, and um, uh, uh, this evening, uh, our topics is uh, Arhus Convention and. Uh, uh, connect, uh, and uh, connection uh, with uh, some uh, EU horizontal uh, legislation. Uh, the full name of uh, Aarhus Convention is the Convention on Access to Information, Public Participation in Decision Making and Access to Justice in Environmental Matters. Uh, this uh, convention was adopted uh, in 1998 and it entered into force on 2001. Uh, history of uh, establishing the uh, legislation uh, in uh, area of environment uh, is very long, uh, but uh, I just want to highlight uh, principle. Uh, 10 from uh, Rio Declaration, uh, uh, which is the fundament of uh, Aarhus Convention. Uh, environmental issues are best handled with participation of all concerned citizens at the relevant level. At the national level, each individual shall have appropriate access to information concerning the environment that is held by public authorities, including information on hazardous material and activities in their communities, and the opportunity to participate in decision-making processes, processes. States shall facilitate and encourage public awareness and participation by making information widely available, effective access to judicial and administrative proceedings, including uh, redress and remedy shall be provided. And uh, here we come to the objective of Aarhus Convention. In order to contribute to the protection of the right of every person of present and future generation to live in an environment adequate to his or her health and well-being, each party shall guarantee the rights to access of information, public participation, decision making and access to justice in environment matters in accordance with the provisions of this convention. And very important is uh, the uh, preamble or paragraph seven, recognizing also that every person has the right to live in an environment adequate to his or her health and well being, and the duty, both individually and in association with others, to protect and improve the environment for the benefit of present and future generation. In the following part, I will not uh, read uh, exactly text of Arcus Convention, but I just uh, will highlight uh, some important uh, parts. Uh, 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 first of all, this convention sets out obligation for parties. That's mean 
uh, the, the contracting uh, parties of the convention and also public authorities from one side and from other sides, this convention set out rights for the public and public uh, concerned. Uh, uh, in the means of the convention, uh, the definition of public uh, uh, should be interpreted uh, uh, as any person principle. Uh, this convention also links environmental rights and human rights. That means that uh, uh, rights on health environment uh, uh, is the one of uh, the, the main uh, human rights. And also it links government accountability and environmental protection. Uh, it is very uh, important uh, that uh, Arcus Convention uh, is um, established uh, for some uh, in some democratic context, and uh, without the democracy, is hard to expect its implementation. Uh, authoritarian regime uh, can put uh, all obligation uh, in their in state legislative, but uh, if they don't implement uh, really on democratic way. Uh, possibility uh, for uh, 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 public to participate in decision making, uh, uh, then we uh, don't have a really uh, um, application uh, of Aarhus Convention uh, principles. So, uh, uh, and in some uh, um, society uh, in transition, Aarhus Convention can help in developing transparency with implementing uh, the right to uh, access to information and to public participation and to uh, get justice. Uh, can help uh, to authorities uh, to think uh, on some democratic uh, way. Uh, also, uh, this convention uh, is the first hard law text which recognizes the rights of future generation, and also for implementation of principles of Arcus Convention, uh, non-governmental organizations have a, a central role. And public participation is when everyday people who are not representing the government or a private interest are able to know what decisions are being made about collective life and ideally to have an opportunity to shape those decisions in, mean, uh, in meaningful ways. And uh, the, the three basic democratic principles are the right to know, which uh, reflect the principle of transparency, the right to comment, which reflect the principle of direct participation, and right of standing, which assumes the principle of accountability. And uh, uh, all we know that uh, who have information, uh, he uh, can control the processes. And uh, if uh, uh, really uh, uh, we want uh, that the public have opportunity to participate uh, in decision uh, making, they uh, have to uh, opportunity to get uh, information in uh, in uh, uh, on on time and uh, to get uh, good uh, uh, information. And uh, the authorities uh, uh, must uh, take steps to ensure. Uh, that interest group and member of the public are informed and uh, the and three steps are uh, to notify them to scoping them and uh, uh, to uh, uh, um, make a, a possibility to comment on draft decision also is important to uh, define uh, what's our environmental informations Environmental information means any information in written, visual, oral, electronic, or any other material form about the state of elements of the environment. That's mean uh, water, soil, landscape, biodiversity, and so on, and the interaction among these elements. But there is some 
part some some terms uh, which are not uh, strict defined in Arcus Convention, and uh, sometimes uh, uh, there is uh, uh, problems in uh, real applying of Arcus uh, Convention principles. Uh, one sentence is one terms is in accordance with national legislation. And uh, that can be uh, interpreted on different way. Uh, one possible interpretation uh, means that uh, there is some flexibility in the means of implementation, but not in the extent to which the basic obligation in question must be met. And second possible interpretation uh, is uh, flexibility not only in the means of implementing obligation, but also as to the scope on error content of the ob obligation themselves. Also, there is the terms within the framework of its national legislation. And that phrase may be interpreted as direct instruction to the instruction to the party that they must take legislative measure in order to meet the obligation. Uh, and on other way, uh, international agreements are directly applicable and may operate to override uh, contrary domestic legislation and even displace it systematically. Also, it's important to know that bodies or institutions acting in a legislative or judicial capacity are not included in definition of public authorities because uh, elected representatives are in theory directly accountable to the public through the election processes and also tribunal must apply the law impartially and professionally without regard to public opinion. And now we come to the Article 3, where is some general provisions. And here is the first obligation. Uh, take necessary legislative, regulatory and other measure to establish framework for implementation of the convention. So uh, all parties uh, have to transpone uh, this directive in uh, the uh, legislation, legislation uh, uh, also in uh, some uh, old legislation, they have to adopt them. And also uh, in some new legislation, they uh, 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 must uh, take care uh, to ensure that uh, uh, it's constant uh, with the convention requirement. And uh, some state as Austria uh, made political guiding principles to promote uh, uh, implementation of Arcus Convention. And some countries uh, developed national implementation plans. They evaluated the obstacles they uh, uh, made uh, action points, uh, they identified the necessary financial and other resources, and also they define the uh, uh, methods for implementation of uh, uh, monitoring. Also, uh, next obligation uh, is that uh, um, to help to assist to public to uh, use the um, uh, principle of this convention to exercise the rights. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, sometimes uh, citizens are not well educated or they uh, have uh, uh, just knowledge uh, how to exercise their rights. Uh, so to, feel, to fulfill the, uh, this requirement, uh, one way uh, is to establish some uh, special contact person uh, who will uh, help uh, to the uh, citizen. On the other hand, um, uh, authority uh, itself uh, are obligated uh, to 
uh, help uh, to people uh, who uh, seek uh, information and also to help them to participate uh, to justice. And um, to, to, um, uh, there is a lot of electronic informational tools uh, which uh, can uh, help people to exercise their rights, uh, like uh, user-friendly websites, for example, uh, but uh, also authorities have to prepare some uh, brochures or writing guidance uh, for people uh, who uh, are not able to access uh, such uh, electronic uh, tools. Uh, uh, if uh, uh, some uh, elder people, some poor people, uh, some illiterate people, uh, and so on. And uh, also, parties have to promote environmental education uh, in some uh, general, uh, as some general education, uh, but uh, not only uh, about, uh, to uh, promote uh, education itself, but also uh, to promote awareness uh, about uh, um, uh, this uh, opportunity uh, and um, uh, to raise uh, awareness that people can get uh, access to information and that they uh, can participate in decision making and also to uh, obtain access to justice. Um, some countries established ARCUS centers to help people and also to help state uh, to implement uh, uh, principle, uh, principles of ARCUS convention and also NGOs have important role uh, in all uh, those processes. And uh, parties also have to recognize and support association, organization or groups uh, which promoting environmental protection. Uh, terms groups uh, 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 here is wide uh, terms. Uh, uh, it's uh, also uh, mean uh, some informal uh, group. Uh, it's not obligate uh, to uh, uh, found uh, some uh, NGO to exercise your uh, right uh, um, from this uh, convention. And uh, some countries uh, uh, give some uh, financial grants uh, to association or organization, and also sometimes they give some uh, indirect support, uh, like some uh, tax relief process, or uh, they exempting them from uh, court fears, uh, fees or litigation costs. And uh, but uh, some party set up some requirements uh, for NGO under the national level, and sometimes uh, there can be some uh, discrimination uh, uh, in this area because uh, here is the example of uh, Sweden, Sweden, where uh, NGO must have at least 2,000 members to appeal and development uh, consent. And uh, uh, that was very restrictive uh, for implementation of AFCUS convention because uh, a lot of environmental problems are uh, locally based problem. And it's usually that the local association um, are very interesting in uh, solving uh, that problem. And uh, it's not easy for some local association uh, to reach uh, 2,000 uh, members. Uh, there is the solution that uh, local association may contact uh, big association and to ask uh, uh, them to uh, bring uh, Apple in uh, their name, but uh, sometimes uh, 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 big and uh, small association don't have the same uh, interest uh, and uh, also uh, uh, it can be a lot of uh, uh, small organization which ask uh, that uh, uh, big association for help. And uh, in Sweden, there is only two associations which uh, uh, have 
uh, at least 2,000 uh, members. And this convention is a floor, not a ceiling. That means that parties uh, have right to uh, provide a broader access to information and more extensive public participation in decision making and wider access to justice. And uh, some parties uh, set up shorted, uh, shorter deadline for public authority to respond to information uh, request. And uh, 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 it's not good to have derogation from existing rights uh, because uh, maybe some states uh, uh, established a better condition uh, uh, before um, establishing the Arcus Convention. And Arcus Convention um, uh, uh, don't... Uh, um, uh, have to change uh, that's, uh, that's uh, good uh, practices. And uh, also there is uh, uh, no penalization of person exercising convention, right? So uh, who take the risk, uh, risk, risk uh, to um, uh, to to uh, exercise uh, the convention practice uh, have to be protected uh, from retribution. And also rights may be exercised without discrimination as to nationality. Uh, that means uh, also uh, that uh, citizenship uh, is not um, a base uh, 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 that you have rights to ask for some uh, information. Uh, also, as a citizen, uh, citizenship, uh, uh, citizen of uh, other country, uh, we can ask for information institution in another country to get information about the, the environment uh, because uh, uh, pollution don't uh, know uh, um, borders uh, and there is a lot of trans uh, borders uh, effects. And uh, uh, this uh, and the um, uh, Arcus Convention uh, is divided uh, uh, on uh, three pillars. Uh, I will uh, speak about the first pillar and Alexandra will uh, speak about the second and third uh, pillar. First pillar is access to information and uh, it consists uh, and it's based on two articles, four and five. Article uh, four is also known as passive access to information and article five uh, is also known as active access to information uh, because Article 4 sets out the right of the public to gain access to exciting information upon request and Article 5 sets out the duties of the government to collect and disseminate information on its own initiative and public may seek access to information for any number of purposes, not just to participate. Article 4, access to environmental uh, information. Uh, uh, Article 4 established general requirements uh, uh, that uh, um, uh, uh, we need a system that enables the public to request and receive environmental information from public authorities. And uh, public authorities uh, have obligation to make uh, information available upon request. And the public authorities must, upon request, provide copies of the actual documents containing the information rather than summaries and excerpts and also if some applicant ask uh, to have opportunity to exam examine the original document, then also public authority must allow them to do so. 
and request for information does not need to be justified. And authority must honor the request for a specific form, except under the con a condition uh, when uh, they uh, find that uh, if it is reasonable to uh, provide uh, information in some another form, and in situation if already uh, there is publicly available uh, information in another form. Uh, uh, for example, if government published some book with, uh, with uh, information about the environment, they can just uh, 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 make access uh, to that um, source. But um, uh, there is that some uh, situation that maybe there is only one copy, a copy of a book. Uh, we need coffee, yes. Uh, uh, only one copy of a book in some library who is very far away uh, from a, a citizen and they uh, could not easily uh, get access uh, to that uh, book. Uh, so access to information should be effective in practice. Uh, pub, uh, pub, uh, publicly available means that information is easily accessible to the member. So um, authority have to um, uh, 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 ensure faster provision of information, less costly provision of information, and also to help uh, to people with some special needs. And uh, uh, they also uh, have to enable efficient use of a complex information system. Also, there is, uh, uh, there is sometimes limits. Uh, authorities uh, have to um, uh, share information as promptly as possible. And uh, there is the general limit uh, uh, in uh, 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 at least one month. But in some situation, if a request is uh, big and complex, in that situation, uh, 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 time frame is uh, maximum two months months but also uh, but in also in that situation authorities uh, have to inform um, applicant uh, that uh, they need much more time than usual and uh, also um, uh, public authorities is required to give access only to the informi information they hold uh, and uh, they can refuse request if they don't have that information of, uh, or if uh, request is uh, unreasonable. But uh, it's not good to use that opportunity uh, widely. Uh, in some situation, uh, volume uh, of uh, documentation is uh, very large. And in that case, maybe authorities can provide information in some electronic form. Um, uh, and also they uh, can establish the, the charging uh, for um, uh, information uh, because uh, um, some, um, uh, uh, some uh, request uh, re really can be very unreasonable. And sometimes a uh, uh, request can be formulated in two general manner. For example, they can request for any document relating to a specific wild bear species, species or they can request for all opinions issued for EIA by the governments. Also, uh, sometimes uh, some documents uh, are in the phase of competition. And uh, in that case, uh, also uh, that is the reason why uh, uh, 
uh, authorities uh, couldn't provide that uh, information, but uh, they uh, could not uh, use uh, that uh, uh, reason uh, why, uh, because uh, uh, they have uh, uh, to, to share, for example, uh, immediately all raw environmental data. They cannot uh, uh, refuse uh, um, request that they uh, have time to uh, to um, uh, analyze uh, that uh, data and so on. So all raw data uh, data must be uh, uh, accessible immediately. Uh, authorities can uh, give some uh, concern about the, the, the quality of data or maybe uh, uh, they uh, at this moment uh, could not give some uh, additional uh, um, uh, information, some meta information about uh, that um, uh, raw data. Uh, so they uh, can uh, later uh, complete uh, their uh, uh, the information. And uh, some draft documents are usual part of uh, procedures. For example, for some permits, uh, uh, they prepare some uh, draft document and they ask uh, uh, public to participate uh, in commenting uh, that document. So uh, all those documents uh, must be available. And uh, sometimes some internal communication uh, can be restricted uh, to protect uh, some personal opinion of uh, some administration. But um, uh, some um, um, response of some um, authorities uh, on a draft document uh, uh, must be available. Uh, and also uh, optional grounds, uh, one obligation is optional grounds for refusing disclose, disclosure if disclosure would adversely affect the listed interests. Such grounds to be interpreted in a restrictive way, taking into account public interest in disclosure and whether information relates to emission into the environment. Uh, so uh, they could not uh, provide as uh, confidential information uh, if uh, that can affect the environment. Uh, in some situation, there is uh, some uh, uh, some um, uh, in investigation, some criminal investigation, and uh, sometimes uh, there is some information about the the. Uh, commercial uh, things, uh, issues, and about some uh, intellectual properties rights. Uh, so in that situation, uh, authorities uh, can uh, uh, extract some information, but uh, from the moment when contamination uh, go out uh, from the uh, uh, operators, uh, when some emission uh, of uh, some con contamination uh, enter to the public domain, uh, domain at that moment, that information uh, could not be restricted. Uh, there is also obligation of public authority uh, to uh, respond uh, to to information uh, in the, the most timely and affected method. And if they don't have uh, information, they uh, must immediately uh, inform uh, applicant that they don't have uh, uh, that information and to inform them uh, which uh, authorities uh, have maybe have uh, that information. And the better approach is uh, to transfer a request uh, to another authority immediately. 
and but also in that case they have to inform applicant that they don't have information that they transfer a request to another uh, authority uh, and uh, also uh, they, they have to establish a clear procedure for refusing some information request and also in that situation they uh, uh, have to um, answer uh, promptly that they refuse uh, to give information and to explain what are the reason why they refuse that uh, request uh, and uh, also, um, uh, uh, authorities can uh, uh, establish some charges uh, to get the information. Uh, just uh, in in a reason uh, to uh, that uh, to cover the um, uh, cost of preparing uh, the information. For example, cost for copying the, the documents. Uh, uh, some uh, state uh, don't charge um, uh, preparing of the documentation uh, for some limiting uh, number of page and uh, only if um, uh, if a uh, uh, request is uh, very uh, uh, big uh, in that situation uh, uh, uh public uh, uh, applicant must cover expenses uh, of preparing that document but here is some example that uh, some institution uh, established uh, a very uh, uh, high uh, uh, expenses uh, 2 euros per page for copying it's uh, too much and uh, uh, this uh, um, example uh, that they uh, restrict the rights uh, of the people on that bay, uh, on, on that uh, way. And uh, Article uh, 5, uh, collecting and dissemination on, of environmental information, uh, established the general requirements uh, that uh, uh, we need a system uh, through which public authorities collect environmental information and actively disseminate it to the public without uh, request. So public authorities have to collect, possess and disseminate various types of environmental information. They have obligation uh, to establish the monitoring of emission and uh, also to conduct environmental research. Also, operators uh, are obligated to monitoric, uh, em monitor monitoring emission and to keep records of their emission and also to report about the emission uh, to the public authorities. And uh, um, Good example is Seveso Directive, uh, which established that public authority must disseminate the inf information immediately. Uh, in situation uh, where some uh, facilities are very dangerous and where is the high risk of uh, some accident, uh, they are obligated to prepare emergency plans and uh, to uh, establish the system of notification, the public and local government and hospitals and uh, fire and, emergen and emergency medical services. And also they are obligated to conduct training for emergency personnel, especially in the handling of hazardous substances. And environmental information uh, uh, have to be uh, available in a transparent way and to be effectively accessible. And uh, effectively accessible means that uh, database are easily 
uh, searchable and that we have uh, enough time to search database if we have to apply to some office uh, the workhouse uh, hours of that office uh, have to be enough uh, that everyone can uh, get uh, documentation and also localis uh, location of uh, source of um, uh, data uh, and also some other equipment uh, to uh, uh, to copy documentation and also the language of uh, information is very important. For example, uh, European Bank for Reconstruction and Development require the full environmental and social impact assessment to be made available in the local language. Also, we need the meta information, information about the information. Who have information, what kind of information, what are the criteria for obtaining it, and what is the procedures to obtain it. And uh, uh, authorities are obligated to assist the, the, the public uh, to formulate uh, the uh, requests. Uh, and uh, the media are very important and they are uh, usually the first source of information, but authorities have to establish some electronic database uh, with uh, information and the public uh, um, um, uh, shall have direct uh, access uh, to that uh, data and uh, they um, have to easy uh, search all that information and um, it's important to setting up interconnected database and, that, and because on that way with searching the one database uh, you can easily uh, search information from other uh, interconnected uh, database. And uh, states are obligated to prepare some uh, national state of the environment reports, uh, minimum one per three or four years, but usually state uh, uh, prepare annually uh, reports uh, about the um, environment and uh, dissemination of uh, information is uh, uh, very important and uh, uh, um, authorities have to uh, put in, in national legislation measure uh, how to share information about the, the, the environment and especially in situation uh, if there is derogation of quality of environment uh, and uh, uh, without the cost or uh, with a, a little uh, costs. And uh, also uh, authorities have to encourage the operators to share their uh, uh, information uh, about the, the, the their activities and they uh, and uh, about the the the, um, the uh, um, uh, flows uh, about uh, their emission. Uh, echo auditing is a system that reports on environmental relevant information about the inputs, processes, and outputs of uh, manufacturing activity and the uh, state uh, can um, um, encourage uh, operators uh, with some benefits. Uh, they uh, can, uh, for example, relax them from some taxes or uh, they can promote and give some uh, positive publicity to that operators or they can um, uh, uh, put some uh, criteria uh, for uh, selection of organization which uh, uh, will get 
some assistance uh, program uh, of uh, or some uh, contracts with uh, government to give some services if they share the uh, environmental information and also enterprise have uh, to share information about possible risk uh, uh, from uh, their um, activity and also to establish the safety measures and to correct behavior uh, of, of uh, people uh, in uh, situation of some uh, accident. Uh, also, um, uh, authorities have to provide information how uh, their public authorities carry out public function and uh, how they implement Arhus Convention uh, um, uh, about the number of requests for information and uh, how many requests uh, they uh, answered uh, and uh, how many they um, requests they refused and uh, so on. Also, they have to develop mechanism for dissemination environmental related product information to consumer. Uh, there is some categorization of product as organic, green, recyclable. Uh, they can uh, uh, some uh, make some uh, uh, information uh, about the the. the uh, producer who protect uh, environment uh, and they can uh, share uh, that information uh, to consumer and then uh, they can promote uh, activity of uh, producer uh, who protect the environment and uh, share uh, environmental data. And on the end of pillar one is obligation to progressively establish a, a publicly accessible nationwide system of pollution inventors or registers. And um, with establishing of pollutant release and transfer register, uh, EU um, uh, and other countries uh, who implement uh, that uh, make a big step uh, uh, to protect environment, uh, to collect information uh, and uh, to, to share information to people and uh, uh, to protect uh, uh, environment on different way. Uh, on first way, uh, uh, with information, uh, people uh, 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 got awareness about the problem and then uh, they can react also public institution can react and can change the legislative, they uh, can uh, change uh, procedures uh, uh, to uh, protect environment. And also some operators, uh, if they have information uh, about uh, the waste, waste stream, uh, they can uh, change technology, change uh, materials uh, they use and um, on, uh, on, uh, based on this quantitative analysis of uh, the processes and associate cost, uh, maybe they uh, on the end uh, get uh, some uh, financial savings. Uh, so now, um, I uh, ask Alexandra to continue with presentation. Thank you, Sergeant. Uh, good evening, everyone. I hope you will hear me well. So uh, I will, uh, while uh, my presentation is uh, uploading, I will just briefly, briefly introduce myself. Uh, I'm uh, Alexandra Tubic from the University of Novi Sad Faculty of Scientists. By the background, I'm chemists, but strongly involved with uh, environmental protection uh, the field uh, for last 20 years. Uh, and uh, my area of expertise in uh, recent years is uh, my, uh, mostly microplastics and also the 
uh, uh, environmental protection uh, management. Uh, so I will uh, continue with the um, presentation with the uh, next articles in the Arcos Convention and uh, the first um, well, the, the next one uh, after Sergeant's uh, great uh, presentation is uh, actually a pillar tool, as uh, uh, we uh, say, and uh, it's uh, related to uh, several articles, 6, 7 and 8, and also I will uh, continue then on pillar 3. I have a uh, lot of uh, uh, slides, but uh, uh, I will not... Uh, um, uh, read everything which is on on them. I will just uh, because uh, to to keep on the time. I will uh, just uh, go through important things, and you will have uh, the presentation to help you with your uh, um, task uh, during this during this week. Uh, first of all, we have to say what is public participation, and it's uh, activity of members of the public in the in the partnership with uh, public authorities uh, to reach and uh, um, optimal results in decision making and policy making. Uh, first of all, we have to um, uh, to make um, uh, definition of what is uh, public mean in in this uh, Aarhus Convention uh, according to the public participation and um, uh, Arcus Convention uh, insists to um, uh, the term public concern so for the um, uh, for uh, the uh, some decision making process, uh, we can share the information uh, with uh, the uh, broad uh, public, but uh, we need to target a public concern uh, which is uh, affected by the decision which is made by some authority. Uh, what is the purpose of the public participation is to improve the ability of authorities to carry out their, respons their responsibilities and providing the necessary conditions for the public to um, uh, uh, express and enjoy their rights and meet their own um, obligations. Uh, what is public participation under the convention? Uh, it is a process in which uh, and the mechanism uh, which uh, uh, assert the rights uh, for the people to live in the environment adequate to health and well-being and to fulfill its duty to protect the envir uh, environment. And uh, this should help to enhance the quality and implementation of decisions, contribute to public awareness of environmental issues, which is very important, uh, gives the public the opportunity to express its concerns, because um, uh, if some public authority makes some uh, decisions, some plans and strategies, uh, we will discuss that later, then uh, maybe it has uh, one view of this uh, issue, but uh, if we include uh, all the parties which are uh, concerned, they, then uh, we actually can uh, have uh, other views and uh, maybe uh, the, uh, the public authority should, uh, um, uh, should make the um, uh, adjustments in the uh, 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 first draft in, in their in their plan, plans or, or, or strategies. Also, public participation enables public authorities to take account of, of such concerns, uh, to further our accountability of uh, uh, and transparency of decision making, which is also very very important. And, and uh, it uh, uh, lately we insist um, more and more on this transparency uh, uh, feature and strengthen the public support for decision on the uh, on the environment. Uh, Article 6 of the Aarhus Convention is uh, dealing with the decision on the proposed seating, on the construction and operation of certain types of facilities, often uh, over a certain size. Uh, then other activities uh, for which uh, environmental impact assessment procedure, including public participation, is required and also is uh, related to the uh, uh, genetically modified um, organisms. 
uh, Article 7, uh, uh, consider public participation in the development of plans, programs, policies uh, relating to the uh, environment. And Article 8 is uh, related to the public participation in preparation by public authorities of laws and regulations. We will go through all of these and then we will go to uh, Pillar 3, uh, which is actually Article 9 in Aarhus Convention. So what are the general requirements in uh, Article uh, 6? It's uh, um, to conduct public participation as early as possible in the decision uh, process. Uh, we will see later why is that very important to give uh, adequate notice to the public concerned, to establish reasonable timeframes, uh, to provide relevant information for the public concern. Uh, it, uh, Arcos Convention uh, br uh, brought uh, this um, uh, issue of uh, relevant information to the public because uh, we can share uh, various uh, informations with the public, but uh, are, there, are they uh, really relevant for the decision which is made uh, to provide opportunities for the public to make comments to uh, ask for uh, additional information and uh, to, to take part in this decision making uh, to take uh, due account of the outcome of the decision making and of course to inform the public with the final um, uh, final uh, decision uh, in order to implement uh, all these requirements there are uh, some guidelines uh, and uh, we will um, go here very shortly on them and then uh, go through, through all of this um, um, uh, um, step by step. So the uh, for the early in the, uh, the to, to including par uh, pu public participation early in decision process, we need to have a uh, uh, criteria for evaluating the significance of the uh, activities. To uh, we need to identify which decision permits uh, permit activities and uh, uh, of the, uh, this decision. Uh, which should be su subject to the public participation, what is the legal basis for the uh, process uh, uh, to uh, develop incentive incentives for uh, applicants to engage in early dialogue, to set guidelines and standards uh, how the uh, for the quality of the rele relevant inf information to set the clear procedures uh, for the submitting comments and uh, information so in this proce process to supervise the public uh, how public authorities uh, incorporate the comments uh, obtained from the public to clearly define any examination uh, exemptions of course we will talk about this also and to make the flexibility in time frames, uh, which will enable adequate uh, uh, public participation, to uh, facilitate early dialogue, to make uh, uh, to apply information uh, exemptions, and establish clear procedures for the uh, publication of final uh, final decision. What is environmentally uh, environmentally significant? Uh, it is uh, 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 usually described by size, location and effects. And uh, we need to give the, since in Article 6 we are talking about uh, mostly the projects, we uh, need to characterize the projects, the size, uh, uh, or the accumulation with other projects, the use of natural res resources, the production of waste and other streams, pollution and, and other things. For the location of the projects, uh, we need to um, uh, identify the area which is affected by the project, including, uh, for example, coastal zones, forest area, natural res reserves and parks and so on. And for the characteristics of uh, potential impact, we need to include the extent of the impact of terms of geographical area, of affected population, uh, transformation in nature, Nature and the impact of the nature and other other relevant uh, and important things in in uh, this aspect. Uh, when we identify uh, all this for the project, uh, the um, uh, authorities need to uh, make a public notice, so uh, which is available for to all. Uh, uh, public uh, members of the public concern, and um, usually. 
uh, dissemination of the information goes through a public notification through newspaper or other general available printed uh, media, mass media like TV, electronic means, posting notice in areas with uh, heavy traffic uh, like bus stations, shops and so on. Uh, additionally, the um, um, uh, Environmental Impact Assessment Directive mentions bill posting within a certain radius, publication in local newspaper, organization of exhibitions with plans, drawings, tables and, and, and so on. And the, the uh, public po possibility for public uh, partic uh, public notice is uh, uh, really growing uh, uh, during the, the during the years. Uh, also, there is a possibility to, to give the, the public concern the individual notice. So, uh, by the dissemination of information to certain class of persons individually. Uh, uh, this is the very important for the um, uh, individuals which can be uh, really affected by the decision and uh, in, some, in some cases uh, it, it is uh, also very important to, to have a individual notice uh, aside from the uh, apart from the uh, public notice. Uh, uh, usually, the, the authorities are obliged to uh, place the information about the uh, public process uh, on decision making on their home internet home pages. Uh, also, to uh, put that notice to the notice board and uh, post posting not notice, especially in the vicinity of the proposed project. Uh, you, uh, in, ca in the case of proposed plans, program policies by publication, newspaper, or some other means of um, notification. Uh, here we have to uh, be clear what uh, the notification, what the notice characteristics are, what we mean when we say adequate notification. So the notice has to be effective. Uh, uh, the author public authority needs to make uh, efforts to uh, make sure that public concern is is. Um, uh, not only reached, but uh, uh, it understands the meaning of the notification and uh, the uh, give the reasonable efforts to um, uh, make the facilit facilitating uh, participation. Also, uh, adequate notice uh, would be the considered uh, as, as uh, uh, effect if, uh, affect the targets, at least the public concerned with the decision, and uh, the notice needs to be timely, uh, the, with a reasonable time time frame. Uh, it should notice should uh, have uh, some uh, uh, some standard uh, content like uh, uh, description of the proposed activity, uh, the nature of the possible decision, uh, which uh, public authority is uh, responsible for the decision, uh, the commencement of the procedure, what are the opportunities to public participation, uh, the exact time and day and venue of the envisaged public hearing, uh, and uh, indication of the public authority relevant for getting more information, uh, uh, where can the public concern uh, submit their comments or questions, uh, and the way to, to do that, indication of what environmental information are relevant and what can be available, and uh, or what is the national or transboundary environmental impact assessment procedure, which is uh, which is taken taken. This is uh, very closely uh, connected to the um, environmental impact assessment uh, 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 directive and also the procedure uh, uh, described there. Uh, what is the reasonable time frame? Uh, it is uh, so, uh, there is no uh, exact time frame given for uh, all the activities, but uh, from the, it will depend on the. Uh, project we evaluate, but uh, the the time frame should be sufficient uh, to uh, for all the public concern to uh, go through the project, through all the elements of the project, to have sufficient time to uh, uh, acquire the information from the authority, additional
additional information from authorities and to submit their comments uh, to the uh, for the um, uh, decision made. Uh, so the time frames are um, usually uh, uh, are already fixed in the leg legislation of uh, each country. So because the convention is uh, transposed to the the regulations in each country, and uh, it can uh, depend on uh, ne uh, several um, factors. But the most obvious uh, um, uh, the the most obvious uh, time frame is this one, which is uh, uh, concerning the public participation. Here you have uh, two examples of a good and a, uh, let's say uh, bad um, uh, time frame for the decision making, uh, public participation in decision making, so you can uh, 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 read it. So to, uh, <coughs> for the um, the uh, adequate time frame we have to define period of uh, for inspecting the, the to, to let the uh, interested parties to uh, inspect the document, to define, uh, to make the com uh, comment, to uh, uh, the, the public participation starts after after less notice published. This is very important because sometimes uh, the notices are uh, published in several days, and uh, we have to take account of um, uh, to to start the process after less notice notice is published. Uh, also, the authorities needs to needs to uh, take care to uh, not publish the notice before, let's say, holiday times, uh, re religious day holidays, collective uh, vacation periods, or some some uh, similar uh, periods in the year, and to provide uh, enough time to enable uh, interested parties to request additional informa information if needed, which is. Uh, uh, usually the case, and they um, uh, this, the, uh, this information they may acquire from another public authority or another company or something. Not this one, which is organizing public participation. So sometimes uh, they need a, um, a long, longer time to um, obtain the information they need. Uh, early public participation means that when all options are open and effect effective public participation can take place. Uh, for example, this uh, this morning, Sergeant and I talk about uh, some constructions uh, in in our faculty, and uh, he let me know that uh, they needed uh, for, uh, to get to have uh, notice of the public in four steps of this. So the first one was uh, when they uh, decide to make a construction and uh, uh, to ask the public authority if they need a, proce a procedure uh, to, of the risk assessment evaluation. So this is the right time to uh, include public because the, uh, then uh, uh, it is early enough uh, for everyone to express their and uh, to give their comments and express their opinions about about this um, uh, this uh, project uh, uh, about this project, the relevant information sh 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 should include at least a description of the site and physical and technical characteristics of the proposed activity, a description of the significant effects of the proposed activity on the environment, a description of the um, measures envisaged to prevent or, uh, reduce, uh, or reduce the effects, including emissions. Uh, there should be a non-technical um, summary of the all above because of, uh, sometimes the public concern is uh, not the technical uh, people from the the the, uh, the the exact field, so they need to be also informed, and uh, it should be clear for them what is the project about. Uh, uh, the, then uh, it should be outlined uh, the main alternatives studied uh, for the by by the applicant by someone who proposed the the, the project, and in accordance to national legislation, the, the main reports and advice issues uh, to be uh, to the public authority. At the time when the public concerns shall be informed. 
uh, procedure for public participation uh, should allow the public to submit in writing form or uh, uh, as appropriate uh, at a public hearing on inquiry with the applicant uh, any comments information analysis er and opinions they they have to ensure that uh, in the decision due account is taken uh, uh, of the outcomes of this public participation and when the decision has uh, been taken that public is um, uh, noticed about it uh, and uh, it's uh, aware uh, well aware uh, about decision which is made uh, also there is uh, situations when uh, the, there is a reconsideration of the permit uh, permits uh, this is not unusual uh, uh, on contrary it is very usual that some permits is uh, on a limited time uh, uh, let's say 10 years for example and uh, uh, therefore the, in the, it, it uh, need to be renewed and in this process also we can uh, include we need to include uh, uh, public participation because it's uh, um, uh, many things can be changed during the this uh, 10 years and also the state of the project and uh, the way they fu it functions and everything so we need uh, the, to include the public participation in this uh, part uh, also. Uh, what is important about uh, genetically modified organisms when uh, uh, in decisions about the deliberate re release into the environment, its environment is that there is a cases when uh, these GMOs uh, are uh, uh, released into the environment for any purpose other than its placing on the market. Uh, then uh, 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 there is some exceptions and uh, we, we don't uh, like need public participation procedure. Uh, that is the case when uh, um, such release under comparable bio, uh, bio, uh, bio, um, biogeographical conditions has already been approved within the country re uh, regulatory framework. And also when sufficient uh, ex uh, experience has already been gained with the release of the GMOs in question in comparable uh, ecosystems. Uh, also in the case when uh, uh, GMOs are placing on the market, uh, the exemptions of uh, including part public participation is uh, that uh, it was already approved within the regulatory framework or the, of the country uh, or it is intended to research or for cu cultural collections. Uh, in all other cases, uh, uh, releasing GMOs uh, into environment needs to be to go to a, a process of decision making and public participation. Uh, so also the uh, a summary of the notification introduced to obtain an authori authorization for the deliberate release into the env environment uh, or the placing on the market of a GMO on territory needs to be timely and effectively uh, um, discussed with the public and the assessment report uh, were available uh, and in co accordance with its national uh, biosafety framework. Uh, what are the information which has to be given to the public about the GMOs is the, of course the description with the name and address uh, the, of the applicant uh, which is proposing releasing GMOs, um, uh, intended use of the GMOs, location of the release of course, methods and plans how we will monitor the genetically modified organisms uh, and organisms concerned uh, and, uh, organ, uh, and um, also for emergency response and also uh, uh, the environmental risk assessment, which is very, very important in, in, in this case. Um, and uh, ensuring the transparency on decision making in this case is uh, also very, uh, uh, very important to provide access to relevant pro uh, procedural information to public on the nature of possible decision, the public authority, responsible public participation arrangements, um, and indication of the public authority from which the information information can be get and so on. So it's the similar like for the projects, like for the 
uh, GMOs. Uh, it's uh, requested by the convention that uh, due account uh, should be taken for the outcome of the public participation. So the uh, comments uh, should be addressed at least, if not included. Uh, the um, uh, uh, relevant authorities should give the, uh, the, the um, answer on the comments uh, of, of public concern, uh, representatives of pu public concern and um, or include their uh, comments and information they gave during the public participation process. And the uh, text, uh, also the text of the decision should uh, be made publicly available as uh, soon as possible so that it can be, um, it can go, um, it, it can reach uh, uh, all the interested, interested parties. Uh, what are the general requirements of the of the Article 7, which is uh, concerning plans, programs, uh, policies relating to the environment. It's uh, that we need to make a transparent and fair framework framework for the public participation to identify participating public, to conduct public participation uh, also early in the development of the uh, plan, uh, to give necessary information, to establish, establish reasonable time frames, and uh, to take due account of the outcome of public uh, um, participation. It is similar like in um, Article 7, uh, Article 6, but it's um, uh, uh, it's uh, on the matter, it's on a different matter actually of the plan documents. So uh, plans, programs and policies relating to an environment need to, um, uh, what are those um, under the Aarhus Convention? It's uh, those which may have a significant effect on the environment and uh, require strategic environmental assessment uh, according to the uh, SEA uh, directive. Uh, uh, then those which may have a significant effect on the environment, environment but do not require SEA, for example, uh, this, those uh, that do not set the framework for uh, development con consent, then uh, the, th those plans which may have an effect on the environment, the, but uh, the effect is not significant, for example, um, those that, that determine the use of small areas, and uh, those that intended to help to protect the environment. So the uh, whole process needs to be transparent and fair, uh, 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 fairly uh, proposed. Uh, so the Article 7 of the Arcus Convention is uh, uh, broader than the Directive and the SEA Protocol, since SEA di Directive uh, applies to a plans and programs likely to have significant effects on the environment based on the, um, um, uh, the location, the size, and what we already and the characteristics what we already said. And uh, SEA Protocols applies all that, including health effects. Uh, for the uh, Aarhus Convention, uh, 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 Article 7 does not en envisage any significance and likelihood. Uh, it says everything needs to be um, uh, in the process of the public participation during the decision-making process. Uh, in this table, you have uh, listed what are the uh, similarities and uh, uh, diversities between uh, these, two these three documents, and uh, the most the the, the most important one is that I already mentioned. Uh, and uh, then we can go to uh, Article 8, uh, which is uh, related to participation during the preparation of um, uh, executive regulations. So the, the, the Article 7 is more than strategic and planned documents. And here we have executive regulations uh, and also other legal normatives. Uh, what is the requirement of the Aarhus Convention about the, the um, uh, le legislation? It's to strive the pro and uh, to promote effective public participation in the preparation of laws and rules, which may have a significant effects on environment. To establish sufficient time frames for effective participation, to publish um, uh, or pu uh, pu uh, publicize drafts of the uh, uh, regulations, to provide opportunities to public to comment. 
and to make the comments and take account of the results of uh, far uh, as far as po um, uh, possible. So for all this uh, and for all three um, articles, I, I uh, said it's uh, uh, the important uh, thing is to set uh, uh, rules to public participation, to set a time frame, uh, to include all the um, uh, interested parties uh, or public concern, as, as it says in convention. And also it is very important to, uh, to um, take uh, in account uh, all the comments and information coming for the public and to address them. So uh, accept them or um, or uh, address them if they are not accepted. Uh, Article uh, 8 uh, also includes the participation of the public authorities in leg 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 uh, legislative uh, process uh, up until the time drafts prepare are prepared by the executive branch uh, uh, are posed to the le legislature. Because here uh, we are talking about two different uh, um, um, authorities so one is the the one which uh, prepares the reg regulation and the other one is one uh, which is um, adopted so uh, the public participation needs to be involved uh, in the uh, in the beginning when uh, uh, and authority which is preparing the the uh, in proposing the the regulation to the legislature or uh, to the body which will adopt it needs is responsible to um, to involve um, the public concerned and uh, all interested parties to parties to the public uh, participation uh, but uh, is uh, w what are the uh, rules which uh, Article uh, 8 refers? Uh, its decrees, regulations, ordinance, instruc instructions, normative orders, norms, rules, and uh, others. In this uh, table, you have you have listed obligations and implemented guidelines for the uh, inclu uh, inclusion of the public participation in the preparation of laws and rules. Uh, and it's the similar what I already said in uh, Article 6 and 7. So I will just go to the pillar 3 and which is uh, uh, now related to the access to justice. Uh, access to justice is a fun fundamental human right according to European Convention of Human Rights. It provides procedures and remedies to uh, members of the public uh, which uh, um, think uh, uh, that their rights are uh, um, not respected. So to give them access to environmental information, environmental decision making, as well as national laws related to environment enforced by law. Access to justice helps to create a level playing um, uh, playing field for the public seeking to en um, enforce their these rights uh, and it's uh, also a um, uh, valuable resource to the government efforts to uh, um, have a um, um, transparent transparent uh, decision making processes uh, also the the obligations are to um, requires uh, access to review procedures relating to information re uh, requests under article 4 to require access to review procedure relating to decisions according to Article 6. Uh, and it refers to all uh, previous articles and uh, to um, uh, try to get uh, uh, justice on the matter um, uh, which is not in accordance with the uh, uh, with the um, articles, previous articles of the um, convention. Uh, what are the elements of the access to justice? It's uh, we have to define who can be challenged for not uh, uh, um, uh, to, to not fulfill the, the obligations related to the uh, Arcos Convention. What can be challenged? The, uh, uh, here we can say that uh, any decision can be challenged. Who can uh, 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 hear a challenge? Uh, also, the uh, adequate authorities are listed. What are the remedies once the challenge is brought and how can uh, barriers to access to justice can be overcome? Um, uh, for the uh, uh, 
it is very important to uh, make an access to review procedure before a court of law or another independent and important body, uh, impartial body uh, established by the law to provide uh, review by a court of law free of charge, which is also very, um, uh, very important to, to emphasize here, because uh, in some cases um, uh, countries made this uh, uh, procedure um, uh, harder by um, uh, uh, having a fees for uh, each step in this uh, process for obtaining the decisions for uh, other documents and, uh, and other things. Uh, to ensure the, where, where they meet the criteria uh, that members of the public have access to administrative or um, judicial, judicial procedures, to challenge acts and omissions by private persons and public authorities, to provide adequate and effective remedies, and to assist, to have an um, uh, uh, assistance mechanism to remove or reduce financial and other barriers to access to justice. In the end, uh, in the next uh, few slides, uh, uh, Sergio made a comparison and uh, uh, highlighted how the Arcos Convention is uh, transposed into other di directives. Uh, here, I will just uh, to, to uh, have more time for your questions and comments. Uh, I will just uh, emphasize the, the fact that. Uh, uh, according to the directive about pu uh, public access to environmental information, uh, the information need to be accurate, comparable, and data should be um, uh, 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 methods uh, uh, should be explained. Methods for the analysis, sampling, uh, treatment, and everything. So the the uh, all the information which is going to the public needs to be complete needs to be uh, uh, accurate and and uh, and uh, uh, comparable uh, we also have to say that um, uh, yeah uh, I will skip all this because it's uh, everything is uh, um, uh, highlighted what is uh, how the, the the for example the uh, Aarhus convention is uh, uh, connected to the let's say IPPC uh, uh, di directive, and I will uh, also emphasize one more thing, and this is uh, to uh, uh, to have a response to the strategic litigation against public participation. What is this? Uh, sometimes uh, the public authorities are. Uh, making obstacles to get the uh, uh, to 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 the public to participate in the decision making process, and uh, uh, there is also a possibility uh, that um, uh, public concerned can uh, have an in initiative uh, through petition uh, and uh, uh, to initiate and propose legislation for the European Parliament. It is not easy process. It needs uh, one million signatures for this. Uh, but uh, coming from at least seven countries at, of, of uh, 28 of our members, but uh, there is also a, a possibility. Uh, this possibility we need to uh, to emphasize uh, in the end of all our um, uh, discussion about the Arcos, Arcos Convention. In the end. I will uh, briefly uh, present you the uh, assignment for this um, for this week. So it will be uh, that you analyze the case from the last week's assignment. Uh, we go uh, we went through several of your um, uh, tasks and assignments, and uh, I think we, we, you can uh, uh, nicely apply the um, and and try to find um, uh, to, um, topics from the Arcus Convention in your case which you uh, um, described last week so go through the uh, ar articles of Arcus Convention and uh, answer to uh, questions questions we uh, put in in this slide uh, not limiting all on all on, on just on these questions. So first of all, you should uh, you should um, uh, define whether you have in your case you have 
the plans, programs, uh, or you have projects and constructions, or you have uh, um, uh, some uh, strategic uh, uh, plans, or you have uh, GMOs, or it is a case of uh, of uh, public participation in some uh, laws and regulations. Then you have to identify why, what is the public concern, uh, then um, how will how the uh, public uh, participation is uh, was organized in the case uh, you um, you have or uh, uh, also time frames, what are the methods for the informing uh, public and uh, all other things related to the public participation and also uh, 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 access to justice if you found this uh, for the uh, from the Aarhus Convention. Uh, I noticed that uh, uh, maybe you you don't uh, have all this information, but uh, please, in an essay, uh, you can give us the information if uh, which you have from your case from the last um, last week. If uh, you identify the environmental issue uh, on which you don't have uh, in, uh, already in which uh, public participation is was not conducted yet you can uh, put yourself in the um, role of uh, authority which is bringing for example strategic document on uh, let's say uh, plastic pollution uh, in some region and uh, uh, try to organize uh, to to see what you need to organize the public participation according to the Arcos Convention. And now we are open to your questions. Okay, uh, Alexandra so, and and uh, I tried to uh, left some space for question, but unfortunately uh, we uh, the topic is too wide, yeah. Yes. So, okay, we have some questions. I, I, I answered mostly on the question, ah, but okay. uh, here is the uh, last question um, uh, answered. Uh, from Angela? Yeah, uh, no, Sandra. Ah, uh, Then I don't see. Can you read? They the... they, co they comment that the segment uh, is different uh, from one in the platform. Uh, Aha. In the no. script in week two. Uh, I think uh, we it kept the uh -huh. original to connect uh -huh. the previous case with the Arcus Convention. This is the, the 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 this was in the in the syllabus I think. Uh, maybe it's just perception uh, in uh, writing a segment uh, in, in the course. Uh, we predicted that you analyze uh, um, uh, applying uh, of Arcus Convention uh, in um, um, case uh, you analyze uh, during the week uh, one. Uh, and then we uh, saw that uh, some um, uh, uh, assignment uh, uh, bring uh, um, not enough information about that uh, case study. So we try to help you uh, giving you some uh, uh, question. Uh, Alexandra uh, spoke. Um, uh, uh, if you can uh, find, if you could find some um, uh, study uh, where you have en enough information uh, you can analyze and uh, um, uh, comment uh, and uh, refer on that uh, action uh, 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 
uh, if is uh, there enough information uh, provided by authorities about that case? Uh, um, is there some uh, um, uh, um, uh, uh, public who ask for some information? Is, is there some uh, 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 procedure of uh, public participation and so on. But in case if you don't have in, enough information, you can, uh, based on uh, Arcus Convention, um, uh, define uh, uh, what uh, is um, obligation uh, of the of the authorities and what uh, is uh, um, what you can all as a NGO or uh, as a citizen, what you can um, uh, implement, uh, what would you uh, ask about that case and from uh, whom uh, and so on. Um, for example, uh, there was uh, uh, some um, uh, um, question uh, from uh, 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 colleague Zelensky uh, about the the uh, Rio uh, Sava uh, activity in uh, Serbia. So it is the case uh, when you uh, where you can um, uh, look for for information uh, about that case. Uh, have we uh, access to, to, to real data? Is there enough information? Uh, uh, um, um, uh, for example, uh, they uh, don't uh, cover, uh, they don't um, uh, give all information about the technology because uh, they are in process of protecting uh, it uh, and uh, so on. Uh, so uh, we uh, think about that, uh, that you analyze uh, your assignment on that way. Alexandra, would you? Uh, so, yeah, add? Uh, uh, I think we are, um, it's an old, very open task so based on your um, uh, based on your uh, previous uh, task uh, try to implement uh, elements of Arcos convention try to find the information related to uh, to the Arcos convention uh, whether as an uh, taking uh, making yourself in the um, uh, position of the authority or in the position of NGO or other uh, um, uh, party concerned uh, to uh, try to find it is the the task is related to the uh, the, the most important is to um, recognize the elements of Arcos Convention in any way you think your uh, case is connected to Arcos Convention. Uh, we are open all these days to uh, look at what look what you uh, did to comment with you to answer on your questions. Uh, don't uh, be afraid. It is uh, uh, we uh, just wanted to uh, to uh, help you with the questions on the uh, last slide. Uh, if you find that uh, uh, like um, not helpful don't don't use it just made the make the essay about the elements of Arcus convention in your case yes and also your comments are excellent uh, 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 um, it's the better to comment uh, and to analyze the uh, domestic uh, um, uh, legislation. Uh, in some case, uh, if uh, um, uh, that study uh, is uh, uh, connect only with one state, but uh, in situation where it's transponder uh, trans border uh, effects uh, and so on, then um, uh, other side are, are also interesting uh, in the process. Um, and uh, if you find that uh, no one respected uh, how Dobrila comment uh, that uh, 
uh, if authorities don't respect them, uh, just comment, uh, put comment uh, on the paper that you are uh, aware that there is the problem of implementation of Aarhus Convention. It's important to answer uh, uh, to a task, and it can be a negative answer. That there is uh, no, that, as Sergeant said, that the Aarhus Convention was not respected, or that uh, uh, you find that, uh, for example, time frame was not uh, adequate, uh, although everything was already finished, or that uh, you would. Uh, uh, try to reach some other uh, public concern you think maybe in this case is not uh, uh, no not all the um, uh, public concerns is involved or something so it, it can be uh, positive and also negative uh, results it depends on the on the case Yes, there is the situation when, when someone uh, sometimes you have uh, some uh, public hearing uh, and then uh, 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 people couldn't go inside uh, because uh, they uh, fill uh, the room uh, with uh, some uh, people <laughs> who are also concerned about that uh, problem, uh, but you don't know that there are people who are really uh, don't concerned. Uh, they are here just to uh, uh, um, um, uh, take space uh, and uh, to to to. to um, um, block you to to react to uh, to participate in the process uh, it's uh, some of the, the the real situation and uh, angela commented the uh, angela you you uh, meant that arcus convention is uh, old and uh, 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 your question is, isn't the main question here, how do we take it seriously and implement it? That's why you have in the end of the presentation the um, uh, elements of transposing Archus Convention to the other, uh, other to the directives which are newer and it, Archus Convention is still based for every, um, uh, every uh, uh right of the public to have the information in the processes of decision making environment uh, although it's it's uh yeah old let's say and, and the, the the spirit of convention is that uh, uh government um, can uh, bring uh, um, wider uh, opportunity for uh, public to participate and uh, citizen on, um, for example, on election uh, um, can uh, um, recognize uh, if their authorities really implement Arhus, uh, if they give you wider rights or they uh, try uh, uh, to make some obstacles uh, in implementation. Uh, so um, it is a reason uh, uh, why um, we uh, have to, to um, um, make people um, uh, be more uh, aware about the day rights, uh, about the, the environment. Uh, environmental issues. Okay, I think uh, we answered to all of the questions. We are, of course, open to all of your questions during this week. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> we look forward to uh, hear with you and uh, <clears throat> to answer your questions.
uh, yeah, Angelesque, uh, yeah, how how it's implemented. It is a matter now of uh, of uh, law and uh, of course application uh, in front of the European Court of Justice and other uh, relevant institutions. Uh, but here, since you are from the broad fields, and uh, we need uh, um, to emphasize that there is a, a, a the, the base and that Aarhus Convention is a base for the uh, uh, giving the information to the to the public uh, then <clears throat> we uh, tried to explain this in the uh, way that it's not too uh, uh, involving too many articles and uh, 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 too many informations from pro, from the the processes in front of the um, uh, different courts and bodies. Uh, for example, uh, now the Serbian uh, government is conducting. Uh, actually, the minister, environmental protection ministry is conducting the process of public participation for the strategic documents. It's a strategic document and. Uh, uh, the base for this is the Aarhus Convention because the, uh, they're involving uh, uh, many institutions, not only public but private, and many stakeholders and public concern. So the base for this is um, actually an Aarhus Convention. Alexander, there is the question, mm -hmm. uh, a last question of uh, Azra. Mm -hmm. Please answer. Do we still need to examine, uh, exam, examine the potential use of EU Aquis community or just only UN Aarhus Convention? Only Aarhus Convention. You just need to say if it's uh, your case is under Article 6 or Article 7 or Article 8, for example, just that. Yes, thank you, uh, Alexander. Okay, we are uh, here in the, uh, in the following week uh, to answer on your question. Uh, uh, um, Please uh, send uh, us a uh, question uh, to the platform and thank you on your attention. Thank Good you. Good night. To thank all. you. Bye. Looking forward to hear from you.